So Kenny, how much are you looking forward to Saturday? Yeah, I've been pleased with the players in pre-season. Uh, to, to, to start with, that's um, you know really good application and effort. But now we're on to the real stuff. If you're looking at our uh, period now going forward, uh, there's in the next nine weeks there's a potential for 16 games in three competitions. So we really do want to make sure that as a group we're, we're working, uh, we're ready, and uh, we know our roles, we know our jobs. We're we're we're, fo we're all focused on making sure Portsmouth are successful in that period because it is in terms of the season a key period. This time last year you were stressed, stressing about having a good start. Are you still adamant that you need to do that? You always do. You have to aim for it and you have to build up for it. And yes, of course, you know, a good start can, can really help you. And when I talk about that start, you know, it's now until early October. If you look at that period, it, it, can, it can be really a, 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 a great period for us to set up our season. And, you know, we have to be focused on it. We have to make sure we're ready. Um, one individual game, obviously, we're, you know, a big game against Luton. It's our first game. It's at Fratton Park. We're all looking forward to that. And, um, you know, we want to do everything everything we can to do well but um, as a squad as a group we have to look at that period of being successful in that time the Luton Cup game last season was end-to-end -end stuff. Do you expect it to be similar on Saturday? Yeah, it was a good competition. They just edged it. Um, I do think that, particularly in the second half, we had some some very good chances. But similarly, you know, they probably had the uh, the best one uh, when they were one goal up to. Uh, to go through when just um, uh, the right the, the right winger got away from Brandon and, and, and got in. So, you know, a very competitive game, two good clubs. And, um, uh, you know, it won't be too dissimilar to the, the way things go on Saturday. Nathan Jones and Mick Harford have watched you prodigiously over the pre-season. Have, have, have we watched Luton that studiously? Yeah, we have. There's no secrets now. And, you know, you can get in and you can get video footage of every game anywhere. And so, you know, the analysis of the opposition is there um, and, um, you know, both sides uh, will know a lot about each other. You, you, you're correct in that. I say that because you stress it's what you do on the day and not about your opponents. Well, you, you, you look at, you, and you, you have to do a good breakdown and, you know, of the opposition. Of course, it's part of it. But, it, you know, if, if, you, if you're looking at that, the, the, the teams that are successful you, you you know exactly what the team is and who's going to score against you and you still can't stop it it's a, it's the sides at the bottom are generally unpredictable so you know it's only to a point f for all of us and then if you don't get your own team right and your own performance level and your own attitude and your own quality right you won't win anyway Jamel Lowe's an important player to you how big of a blow is that to miss him yeah it's, it should only be you know a short amount of time which is which is good you know we come out of the the pre-season we've obviously you know, his one last week, which we can see. And then Dion Dov Donahue, who's recovering very well, to be honest with you, and is, is there. So, you know, minimal amount of injuries through pre-season. So we're, we're, we're pleased with that. And the boys that, um, you know, won't be available Saturday will be around, I think, for next week, which is, which is good. We want to keep it that way if we can. It, it um, hampered us last year. We suffered for it. And, um, you know, we want to have wanted to, through pre-season, build up as good and as big a squad with as much quality as possible and, and then working hard to keep those fit and available through the season. They'll be missing Hilton on Saturday so it kind of evens it up I suppose. Yeah obviously Hilton's a very good you know player for them they have they have many other good players and coming off the back of a you know a very successful season last year. So hand on heart now uh, do you have a better squad do you feel than, than this time last season? Yeah you, you look at last season's squad but you know you also have to look at availability and uh, you know where we'd invest, invested our money and ha how they were uh, fit and available for us you know that will be seen with this squad now going forward but um, yeah I'd like to think that um, we've got a little bit more experience uh, more depth most importantly all of the young players that we worked with last year are a year older and more experienced and stronger and know what the division is about well, we look forward to it and well done for coping with the annoying fly that's been buzzing around you for a yeah, little bit that's it and uh, in terms of the, the weather it's you know it's a uh, t terrific period to be working and training but really now you know it's the, the real stuff starts on Saturday and we're, we're, we're all geared towards it.